Good evening chaps and chapettes, Rogger here, and welcome back to Overgrowth. This time we're going to be playing a uh, story mod known as Cure and the First Generation. Basically, it's uh, supposed to be like the um, creation mythology of Overgrowth, which uh, sounded pretty interesting to me, so, and <laughs> that's uh, quite a thumbnail, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Rabbit, wolf, dog, cat, and rat. These five races were transformed with given sentience by their creators Priya and Cure. These two beings shaped the worlds and these inhabitants into what they are now. And apparently a reject from Dragon Ball Z. Many times has the mentions of Priya and Kyo been associated with good and bad luck and the many consequences that led to either a better or worse fate. However, it wasn't always like this. It was believed that only rabbits existed and in great numbers. They multiplied without interruption creating the first generation. This is almost like a freaking the watership down creation myth. Kyo, god of the sky and moon, watched over the citizens with dedication and care. While Priya, goddess of the earth and sun, shaped the world into what it is now, via massive amounts of thought. Lush and full of life in all shapes and sizes. However, this would not last. Rabbits would begin to fight over territory and food was becoming scarce, resulting in the rabbits fighting each other in order to gain dominance and take the rest of the remaining food. Kyo was furious at this display and tried to stop the violence himself. Priya did not want him to interfere, but his love for his children was too great. What, sorry, he wanders down the road and kills them? Okay, I understand it is meant to be capes, but uh, looks like you've uh, washed it in Viagra by mistake. Trippy as hell. This is like the Therium, uh, Therium 2 intro, where they're sort of in that dreamscape thing. Oh, wow, bloody hell. Oh, he takes his Weetabix. So I'm presuming I'm going in the right way. So am I killing you bastards? <laughs> yes, I am. God is punching you in the dick. Come back here. Oh, shit. <laughs> the end of it all, we only caused more blood to be shed due to his fury. But due to this, the rabbits ceased their war and peace was temporarily restored. Yeah, when God runs down the hill and punches your mate Dave so hard his internal organs fly out of his body without him noticing. Yeah, that would happen. During this time, Priya began to give the inhabitants beneficial choices, given the choice of being a pacifist so no blood would ever be shed again. And to an extent, this practice succeeded, but there were many who were too bitter to accept such ideals. Welcome to sentience. These rabbits accepted chaos and did not hesitate to blame Kyo for their troubles. Dickheads. This caused the god to see red. His goodwill turned into aggression. He created a truly horrifying creature. Is this going to be wolves? You all choose to blame me for your bloodlust and bitterness? For the needless slaughter you committed against each other? Then I shall reward you for your unwillingness to admit your flaws. And from this came punishment upon all rabbit kind. This punishment came in the form of a wolf, one of the strongest and most powerful aggressions Kyo has ever brought into existence. With a swipe of its barbaric claws and bite of its ravenous teeth, it's laid waste to the world and nearly wiped the rabbits from the face of the earth. There was now only a small few left to fend for themselves, the ones who were not a part of the bloodshed but had a differing opinion about their god Kyo, believing him as the harbinger of violence and destruction rather than the benevolent god like Priya. Soon, many stayed on the path of Priya in order to not get it caught up in the wrath of Kyo. This is the story of the first generation. That's a cool headdress. And the deity he created and nearly destroyed them. New level. Voice says ellipses. Runnanananan. Blurg. <laughs> Blur, my head. Should not have taken all that freaking um, POT last night. Looks like a POT abuser. That certainly wasn't a good sleep. Well, considering what you're dressed and what you're lying on, I'm not surprised. No. <laughs> So that voice again, yeah, definitely, definitely lay off the drugs, mate. So that wasn't a dream. Question mark face? Says question mark face. Follow light. That's the moon. You want me to follow, huh? All right, guess I'll take the fast way up the hill. I should be there in no time once I pass the cross shard crates. That is a nice design. I like that. It's very tribal. I know it's the entire flipping point, but uh, also is it going to be like uh, the moon's... Um, oh, you know, they already said it is moon and sky's uh, cure. So go past the crates. All right. Don't know if I have to climb them, but I'm guessing so because they specifically got mentioned. Therefore, climbing and or punching is involved. This is overgrowth.
So, run to the moon, which has suddenly decided to come to Earth. What the fuck? How surreal this is, the moon and its followers visiting the land. Could this be the work of Priya? Why, yes, it is. <laughs> Hello, thumbnail. I apologise, young here. I did not mean to startle you. Yeah, God God, God brought the moon to the frickin' earth and just wandered down and was surprised people shat themselves upon seeing that. Ah, what has brought your attention towards me, your holiness? I gather you're here for a request, one that may endanger your life. I severely need to get rid of the starch out of this frickin' cape. Uh, but do not worry, this task will not include fighting. Well, I'm going to die then, aren't I? What is this task? It concerns the love of my life, Cure. Cure? Indeed. I know that asking a mere mortal seems incredibly foolish, yes, but you are the greatest of my followers, Nahir. Your followers are shit. You cherish my teachings as those that were your soul. Only rabbit, a pure heart is capable of enduring this task. Oh, you are going to die. I see. I will do it. Are you sure? Yes, God literally walked down and asked you face to face. What would you do? What would you do if you said no? Anything for me, goddess? Because I quite literally have never gotten the chance to get laid. Yes, that's, that's the right expression for that. Then it's settled. Now, take my hand. I will bring you with me to my home in the sky. This is not going to go well. Boo? Oh, a load, yeah. What, what is this strange mystical thing? It's a loading screen. Run with it. Uh? Yes, everything is made out of neon. It was the 90s. It was a different time. Here we be. This is your home? How are you not blind? Indeed. It's a land of lush green and blue. Neon. Come. We have much to talk about concerning your task. You know, you could have told me this before giving me all the drugs. Right. Hope this goes well. No, no will not. Objective, continue walking with Priya as she explains your task. Well, I presuming I'm following her, I can't actually see a fecking thing. Dum 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 Well come on hurry up then I'm not standing around here for the good of me elf Oh Alec bleeding Leah What I ask of is a simple talk Day by day Kira slowly fell into disarray losing what he once was For you see Kira was not a god of violence but a benevolent one he simply wished the best for his children, but he felt betrayed, which caused him to retaliate in unrational anger. It's irrational, mate. He hasn't been the same since. Yeah, your children dick you over, and then they're surprised when you actually get angry with them. Your 21st century parent. I want him to know that one of his children still love him despite everything that has happened. And I want that child to be you, Nahir. Let him know there is still hope. Alright. I'll do my best to tell him. Thank you. Um, line? Oh, no. Come on, Priya, get on point. I, I, I can't, right, I can't actually, can't actually continue this. Is game broke? Broke game is? Or do I have to wait for her to walk very, very slowly to the next trigger point? Oi, je va. Or is she just going to walk off a cliff? Well, that answers that question. Uh, no, I might have to skip this. Well, fuck my ass, I can't. Will you hurry up? I'm not listening to you for the good of me health. God. Um, God, what the hell are you doing to my ass? Right, now what the hell's going on with this cutscene? Is it because she's walking to trigger points? Because I did actually just try pressing start to skip and nothing happened. So I have an awful, awful suspicion that this freaking cutscene is tied to where that character is. Can I move? Oh, 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 I can actually move my guy. Can I jump? Oh, good, I can jump. Bloody hell, this is a weird, weird, weird camera angle. Maybe it's because I wasn't doing that, but I had no idea I could. Come on. Let me still be following. 
Oh, hello, bleeding Luya, that worked. Okay, I still get this glitch where right trigger to continue does nothing, and neither does start to skip, so I'm just hoping by kind of sort of following, see, I might actually trigger the next cutscene. Either that or this cutscene is feckin' broken and about to fall off a cliff to me death. Oh, holy bleeding Luya. Just about that hill is where Kyo stands. Right, okay. Mr. Modman, whose, sorry, name I forget because I'm terrible at remembering names uh, like this for mods. That needs to be corrected. Just do what, do what you do with the other cutscenes. Have them just be static and not walking because I had, it was sheer luck I tried moving my character during a cutscene. Uh, don't be afraid, by the way. I'm sure this talk will be a peaceful one. All you have to do is go and talk with Satan, who I'm apparently fucking at the moment. Right. I am ready to face him. Dot, dot, dot. This isn't going to go well, is it? Oh, Golden Bennett. Again, Mar Again, I know I'm joking about the Neon, but for, like, a spiritual realm? That's a good idea. Also, I know it's just the rocks. There's, like, green and other shit and... Apparently the world's on fire over this point. But why is the spirit world in games always teal? Think about it. Every single time. Right. Let's go talk to Satan, Satan's giant angry bollock. Guten Tag. Kiro dot dot dot. Hello. Please don't kill me. Dot dot dot. Priya, what have you done? It's not what you may think, Kira. Seriously. No, no, no. We're not fucking. This young rabbit has come to speak with you in person. Very well. Um, go on. I apologise for interrupting your peace, my lord. I've come to give praise to you for you are also important to our teachings. To avoid me at all costs. Yes. Uh, no, to give praise to your efforts to better the world. Wow, this is like naked, naked nepotism pleasing whatever. I've given thoughts of the events that have occurred, and I know for a fact you only tried to stop us from destroying one another. But, despite a horrible war's attempt at endlessly preventing our kind from flourishing, it somehow gives a sort of balance to our world. Also, when did you tattoo the moon? What you've done has made us never have to constantly resort to violence for food and water. And for that, I thank you, Lord Kyo. Tell me, why did you really come here? Uh, because God told me to? Did you come here to tell me this because of Priya? Truthfully, I did come here because of prayer. But as I climbed up this hill, I started to realise something. Something important. I really, really needed to make this go well so I didn't get completely buggered. And what, pray tell, is that important realisation? That you are not a violent god. You were never a violent god. Despite literal evidence of the opposite. Only I know of this, unfortunately. But I plan on reaching out to as many people as I can to make them understand who you really are. I promise to clear your name, Lord Kyo, for as long as I live. He ain't buying it. Thank you. Oh, you utter, utter bellend. You're welcome. <laughs> She's like, oh, cool, bet it. He's killed 17 other guys today. Uh, you're back home now. Yes, the entire thing was a drug trip. Ah. I'm sorry for taking you away at such short notice. I know you probably wanted to explore our home. Well, not really. My eyes were kind of hurting. Also, your armpits appear to be on fire. It's okay. I understand completely. Do you think Lord Kyo is going to be okay? Wounds heal over time, and you've lived up to my expectations. I'm proud of you for making this choice, to clear Kyo's name. We will always watch over you, my child. Always do your best. Go on, Bennett, you really are, mother. I will, and thank you for this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I mean, the instant you go to a town square and start preaching about basically Satan is not such a bad guy, you are going to get lynched, burned, and hung, drawn, and quartered all at the same time. Somehow. Also, is she having a really, really good piss or something? What's with that face? I will cherish it forever. Likewise. Farewell, Nier. Farewell. And so the young Nier went to reach out to every rabbit he could find. He died instantly. Kistain. It was a very difficult task in order to convince anyone that Kyo wasn't a god of violence. Quite quite an irony that you're trying to convince someone that uh, Satan is not violent and their initial response is to immediately punch you in the face. They tried to break his pacifist ways by starting a fight. And because of his persistence, they decided to do a horrible dare on the here in states. Are you five? 
I will climb the cube. You see that structure up there? You're going to climb it. Only the skill can reach the top of the crap tower. If you can reach the top, then we'll listen to whatever you have to say. Fine, I'll do it. Go on, Bennett. You would the first people you would have to talk to would happen to be a bunch of jocks, wouldn't it? Until my last breath, I said. Oh, my last breath will be from climbing this bloody thing. Can we not just like, just just kill these guys and just do it, have a redo with the next bunch of guys? At least something's actually happening in this mod. I wasn't too sure if it was just going to be a be a case of it was just going to be like a bunch of cutscenes, which I would I wouldn't have complained or nothing. It's an interesting take. Oh, bollocks. Um, all right. Wedding room! Now, I'm just hoping those things don't have a bleeding hitbox. You actually have to touch them to get splatter-mumbificated. Oh. This is suspiciously an easy bit. Aha! Large of flibble! Aha, ha, 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 that's the rub. Okay, so I can do that or I can try here. So I think I'll do here because I'm never any good at the jumping backs and forths. Like I said in the main campaign playthrough, I like the style of the architecture that they gave the gave the rabbits because it makes sense for a species that jumps so high in order to have, like, not just everything is flat doors. Okay, I'm here. Does something trigger? Oh, yes. With undid undying determination the hare struck the hearts of rabbits who originally didn't want to listen to him uh, he climbed a big thing he must be smart fucking idiots and within a few years time the rabbits began to think differently about their god for the better this time this caused Kyo's mentality to be restored and he was able to return to his position as protector of his children his kate still suffered from terrible terrible erectile dysfunction though in the aftermath of all of this the first generation managed to create the fundamentals of fighting and self-defense Okay, I thought we were doing the pacifist route, but whatever. Uh, one that, while they accepted Kyo as not a violent god, made it so rabbits shouldn't fight unless absolutely necessary. This ensured the fact that they were absolutely mullered at every single opportunity. However, this part of history has been lost over time. As time went on, rabbits such as the blood-soaked war veteran and uncrowned king of Lugaru, Turner, became consumed by his despair and rage brought about the betrayal of those he deemed his closest friends. Leaving many rabbits to believe that he is the reincarnation of Cure himself due to the current generation's ignorance and Neher's efforts being lost over time. So, all of that was pointless. But, because of Neher, the very species he was a part of was not bent on destroying each other and therefore saved the primitive island of Lugaru. And with that, we end his story here. Oh, made by Cisco Link. Well, thank you. I like I said, a quick, a quick brief little mod, but I love the direction both of the cutscene and of the design of the spirit realm. Very nice. Oh yeah, and the June 2018 Map Jam event. Can I push God off the edge? Go on. Wee! Oh, fuck it, ass. Well, that's what you get for trying to kill God, I guess. Well, that was Kyo on the first generation. I like that. That was a very well-made little uh, mini-campaign mod. Very nice indeed. Kudos, Cisco Link. Either way, for the moment, thank you very much indeed for watching this silly little video of mine. If you enjoyed it, have a look sit down at the channel, see if there's anything else I've done which takes your fancy. I do play games besides Overgrowth. If so, have a little look see Barmies, Barmies, my friend. Subscribe if you want to, but most importantly, please be wonderful to each other. Good night.